Hello and welcome to the new channel. This first video is going to be a companion video for a post I recently did for how to start a blog called How to Find and Remove Hacked WordPress Files. The post is a tutorial that teaches you how to clean your site after a hack, basically and get rid of any suspicious files that may have been left behind. And this uses a command line, but if you're not familiar with that or you're not comfortable with that, that's okay because I've documented the whole process here using FTP and just a regular text editor. And it's for both Windows and Mac, so let's just scroll down and take a look at this script, though. Um, I'm going to use this script because it's just much faster to do and for the sake of time. Uh, so I'll just go over the different parts of it. Um, so the first part basically gets a list of every single PHP file in your web root and all the files and folders contained in it. It gets, even if it's not a .php file, as long as it has, say, a, H, I mean a PHP tag, then it's going to find it. Um, the second part here is basically a pattern. It's a regular expression that looks for about 15 different um, functions that could, could be potentially harmful. Not always are going to be harmful, but typically these are the functions that can be found in these files that hackers will use. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is copy this script to your clipboard, and then we're going to go over to the command line. And here I'm already logged in, and I'm already in the root directory of my where WordPress is, basically where it's installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a file. I'm going to call it malcheck. I'm going to open it, and I'm just going to paste this code in and save it. Um, we need to make sure that the permissions are correct so that the file can be executed, and that way we can run it, but we actually need to put the right file name. So, okay, we have the permissions right now, and just to show you where we are, um, I'll do a pwd. Uh, so this is my where WordPress is installed. So now I'm going to just run it and see it's already gotten um, the long list of files. Now it's just going through. It's just going to take a minute here. Okay, so now you can see that the output shows you exactly where the file is saved. So we're just going to use our FTP and navigate there. And I'm going to open this file with my text editor, just make it easier for us to see. Okay, so here it is. And um, right off the bat, I can see um, that this area here just does not look normal. And now what we're looking at here is each one of these is each one of these rows is a line that contains one of the functions that we talked about earlier. As you can see here a lot of things like where's Perl, where's curl, uh, where's the Apache configuration, where's the PHP configurations. These are just not normal things and these are after I've seen quite a few of these, it's kind of really obvious. And here's another thing. This is a really long line. These typically really long lines are not normal. And you know that might be something you need to take a look at. So basically what we want to do is just see um, anything that looks abnormal. You want to take a closer look. So let's, um, you can look closely, but let's, uh, just for this demonstration, let's go back up and look at, the one uh, file at the top here. This is uh, in the CSS directory. It's called gif2.php. So let's go ahead and look at it. And uh, here it is. Open it up. Okay, so how does that look? Does that look normal? It does not look normal. That looks really bad. It's got like a Russian domain name in there. It's got gibberish. Uh, I don't know what that is, but if you find anything like this, you're going to want to get rid of it immediately. 
If it was me, I would run the script again, make sure you don't find anything else, and get rid of any plugins you're not using, get rid of any themes you don't use, change your passwords for WordPress and your database, and that's pretty much it. Um, I am planning to do another post on the blog about some uh, a few things you can do to really tighten the security. They're pretty easy, so be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for some more videos. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. And this has been Body Jones. Thanks very much for watching.